Our ministry, Urban Encounter, is really passionate about preaching the gospel, evangelizing, and seeing lives transformed. And so one of the things that myself over the years that I've been convicted of is the actual power behind sharing the gospel, bringing to somebody to faith in preaching the gospel, and then training up our evangelists to do this because uh, Jesus came to set the captives free. And whatever somebody's struggling with, when you present freedom to them, it's really powerful. And that is something that as they uh, begin to hear the possibility of a new life, it's very attractive. And so one of the verses over the years that's been very powerful for me is from Romans 1.16. And I'm just going to read that for you. For I am not ashamed of the gospel. It is the power of God for salvation to everyone who has faith. And so I've been doing this for quite a while. You know, I'd say at least 15 years or so. I've had this passion to share the gospel and I've done it in many different ways. But I'd say over the past couple of years, I've become more convinced that uh, I want to not be ashamed of the gospel. So in any circumstance I'm in, wherever I go, if I feel the prompting to evangelize, I'm always looking for an opportunity to share the gospel. And what I mean by that is the good news uh, that, yeah, we're sinful, that we actually struggle with things that leave shame and guilt, but hey, it doesn't have to be that way. Jesus set us free by his atoning sacrifice on the cross. He rose from the dead. It's real. He's a risen Christ. He ascended into heaven. And hey, it gets better than that. Even he sends the Holy Spirit upon those to live a, a life full of power. And that what does that power do? It frees you. The Holy Spirit frees you. And so we're sharing with you this testimony of our friend, Donnie, who was actually freed. We saw him freed. I was walking around the neighborhood. I came and I met him. And this is a man I saw day after day after day struggling with the, the crippling effects of severe alcoholism. So, I mean, we're, we're not talking just a few drinks here. We're talking all day long, falling down type uh, drunkenness. This is, was the state he was in. Yeah, I've been drinking real heavy for many a years. How many years about? Oh, approximately. Probably about 15. And when I met him, what did I do? I shared my faith in Jesus. Uh, and I asked him right away, hey, Donnie, is there something you want? Did, do you want to be freed from this? And he did. And one of our evangelists Angelo Rivera, he, he also began to share the good news of Jesus with him. He prayed for Donnie. Uh, he preached the gospel to you, right? Yes, About he did. The whole gospel. And then he said, all right, you ready? I think the Holy Spirit wants to free you. And asked him straight out, hey, Donnie, uh, do you want freedom from addiction? Do you want freedom from alcoholism? Jesus Christ can set you free from this. And then we started seeing you come around, and it was just like, man, he's totally sober. <laughs> he's totally sober, right? And another thing Angelo did is he, he prayed directly with him. He said, let's pray for that right now. I want to, can I lay my hands on you and pray? And this is something else that is very powerful. When we not only preach the gospel, but we believe that, hey, when we lay hands on somebody, that the power of God can come through that because that's a promise, right? That people can be freed from demonic oppression, that people's bodies can actually be healed. And so that's what happened. When Angelo laid his hands on him, Donnie told me that he felt electricity shooting all through his body. And that's one thing, you know, uh, everybody can have a feeling, something like that. but. The fruit of this is amazing because literally the next day, Donnie said he uh, was freed from alcohol addiction. And I saw him, other people around the house saw him. How long you been sober for? 
I have been sober now nine months. Nine months. This is real power, you know, this is real uh, transformation. And hey, I'm not saying this is going to happen to everybody, but I want you to be open to the real possibility that when you pray with faith, that something is going to happen, that uh, a life could be changed, that when you share the power of Jesus and what he can do in lives, and it might be something he's done in your own life. It might be a testimony you've heard from somebody else. And a lot of times that's all we have to do. We just start to share that. And this relates to the following verse. I think this is really powerful. Paul says, For in it the righteousness of God is revealed through faith for faith. And so what does that mean? Well, as I'm sharing my faith in Jesus, something happens. This is the righteousness of God. Um, so, for example, I, I do this all the time. I'll, I'll say, hey, you know, I, I dealt with drug addiction myself. I dealt with, uh, you know, whatever it is, addiction to pornography. And people can relate to that. And then they, they can relate even more when I say, but Jesus freed me from that. And I've been able to overcome that through, through what? The gospel. And so when I present that to them, it it gives this real living faith uh, because they're hearing it from me. I'm testifying to what Jesus has done. And so they can grab onto that. And so when they do, it gives them that faith, right? And we, we all know the power of faith. We all know that gospel passage after gospel passage, what does the Jesus say? Go, your faith has saved you. Uh, your faith has healed you. So is it any different today? No. So this is what we want to do in evangelizing. It has to be one of the key elements of our efforts to evangelize is number one, to not be ashamed of the gospel. I'm to the point now, it's, man, I cannot wait to share the gospel. And I'm not saying it was always like that. I struggled before, you know, what are people going to think? But the more you see the powerful effects of what Jesus does in your life, you're gonna actually be excited to share the gospel. You will not be ashamed of the gospel. For what? Because it is the power of God for salvation. And so many times we think that if I say the right thing, if I say this exact right thing, then you know somebody's gonna have this awesome conversion. And we, yes, we do wanna know the faith. We do wanna uh, say the right thing to people, but Paul is saying, the gospel, this gospel is the gospel of power. And it is, it really is. Sometimes I don't even know what to think of it. It's just this, wow, I don't even know how that happened. That was just a powerful moment. What, whatever that is, whether that's a word of knowledge or whether that's a person getting healed, like Donnie, Angela lays his hands on him. <laughs> I'm sure Angela probably didn't even feel anything, but Donnie did. Donnie felt the power of God rushing through him and then we saw the fruits of that. We saw the effects. So this is what I want to encourage you to do, to go out and trust in the power of God to set people free from whether that's addiction, oppression, whatever kind of thing that's holding them bondage, Jesus has the power to, to set them free because he who is set free by Jesus is free indeed.